another subject. Um, some data came out showing that eighth grade test scores in U.S. history have reached their lowest <laughs> levels on record. You know, what can the administration do to help kids catch up who lost so much during the pandemic? Look, as you just said, kids have lost so much in the pandemic. This is why when the president walked in, he made that he made a priority uh, to open schools. Uh, one of the things that was important to do to make sure that the, our kids who have lost so much were able to go back in person school if they choose, have the resources that they needed uh, that to, to really succeed and move forward. Is there more work to do? Absolutely. But even before the pandemic, there was always more work to do as it relates to education. It's about Julian Assange. Go ahead. Uh, thanks on the debt ceiling. Has the president ruled out supporting a short-term extension of the debt ceiling? Is that, do you think that's something that he might talk to congressional leaders what about? What he's going to talk to congressional leaders about, and we've been very clear, he's going to talk to about uh, how it is important for them to do their constitutional duty. Uh, I'm not going to get into uh, uh, any, you know, any, you know, you asked me about short-term, not, certainly not going to uh, negotiate from here or talk, speak to uh, anything uh, related to that. What that ceiling. Uh, it, it, the president always says he likes to negotiate face to face. It, would, would he commit to having as many meetings as it takes? Because what we're doing is talking about this one day, which is a week away. I um, don't have any further. We, we just got to get through the first meeting first, which is a week from today, uh, before we uh, add on any other meetings that is going to be up to the president uh, to decide. And what I can say, he's going to make it very clear uh, to Speaker McCarthy that they need to act. They must act. It is their constitutional duty to deal with the debt limit. NBC News this afternoon has a report of another mysterious balloon um, that the military has been, the U.S. military has been tracking around Hawaii. Is the White House aware of this, uh, tracking it as well? Uh, is, is there any response from, from this podium? So I, I heard of the reports as I was com literally coming out, out to, uh, to the podium. So what I would say is I would refer you to the Department of Defense on this particular question. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I was trying to get your attention on that topic, but let me do another question. <laughs> Thank you, man. Uh, the future president of the White House. Yeah, we, we, just want to, we love balloons here. Uh, so if there's another one, you know, we're very interested in that. That is, in recent days, a lot of uh, people who write articles and columns have been writing about the idea that there should be a third option for voters in the next election. This uh, group, No Labels, is trying to get on the ballot in all 50 states. Um, the president says, don't compare me to the almighty, compare me to the alternative. What does the White House have to say about the idea that many Americans seem to want not just one alternative, but yet another alternative? not going to speak to uh, specifically to 2024, but this is a president who understands uh, what it's like uh, to uh, to make sure that we uh, put the American people first, and that's what he's going to continue to do. This challenge of legal immigration, a lot of people come here, and is this one of the issues which he considers as job not done, job not finished, and how does he want to do uh, to take action, Republicans in Congress to take action and to take and to work on this in a in a bipartisan way. He's going to continue to do that. In the meantime, uh, he's put forth uh, some. He has tools that he's used to to make sure that we do this. We actually deal with the immigration system in a humane way, uh, and in a in a way that is uh, uh, that actually deals with what we're seeing at the border. And that's why you've seen the parolee program be so successful. Uh, it has it has um, it has uh, uh, when it comes to illegal migration, you've seen it come down uh, by more than ninety percent. And that's because of this act, the actions that this president has taken. Us. The Republicans have to blame for this. Well, the, as we've seen, Republicans have continued to use this as a political stunt.